Happy New Year! Welcome to uh, the Order Fest podcast. Yay! We're super getting back into it. Yep. Uh, thank you for joining us after a holiday break. Uh, I'm Jay. I'm Alfred. And I'm Sarah. Yay! Yay. I hope everyone had a great uh, holiday season, yep. whether it was, you know, all sorts of shenanigans uh, everywhere or just staying at home, um, just mm -hmm. seeing family, friends, getting good foods, and just chilling mostly. Like, it's a yep. lot of stress, but I just want mm -hmm. people to be no, chill. No, it's not. No, it's not. People are people get stressed. It's maybe people you get stressed. stressed. Maybe I know. Stressed, well, I know. Get stressed, compared, yeah. compared I got to, stressed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. So, I, I don't never find the holiday season stressful personally. So sure, but we also took a break from podcasts because our right. schedules were busy. So <laughs> actually, now that you mention it, I do have a lot of work to catch up on because I there took a break. Go. So there we go. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, that's that's after the break. The break itself was not stressful. Anyways, exactly. uh, news and announcements. Yeah. Okay. Happy 2018. We're back. Lots of news happened while we were gone. Uh, we'll try to cover that in the next couple of episodes uh, in terms of like announcements and deadlines and such. But oh, yeah. uh, we at Odefest have more content planned for you, the community, than ever before. Speaking of which, we'd like to introduce our newest guest, Capcom Live. I hope you guys saw that cr uh, crazy um, intro video that oh, they yeah. cut for us. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. Um, the Capcom Live tour is coming to Calgary by way of Odefest on Friday, May 18th. That's the first day of Odefest. So Capcom Live, it's uh, the official Capcom concert tour, which unlike the other orchestral video game concerts, uh, like Video Games Live, it features a high-energy rock band, vocalists, and orchestra performing uh, in, like symphonic rock arrangements of the most memorable Capcom game music. You can check out their official information via odafest.com slash guest slash Capcom. That trailer was pretty awesome. Uh, what did you pick up from here? From I the, well, I mean, like I just I think of so many great titles uh, and so much great music that Capcom has like produces and stuff. I just want metal versions of Mega Man X. Mega Man is yeah. always going to be a big yeah. one for me. Um, it's hard to ignore that, but I mean, like uh, Street Fighter has some great stuff. Oh, throw me throw me some Guile's theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know. Yeah. So if you are excited for Odafest 2018, and you better be, uh, remember to purchase your pass online. That's a threat. Via Odafest.com. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that, Alfred. <laughs> yeah. Via Odafest.com at early bird pricing. At this point, you've already missed out on all the previous savings opportunities. So save while you can. It's now fifty five dollar for the weekend. Versus sixty dollars at the door. You can purchase single day passes online as well. There's no early bird pricing for those available, unfortunately. Yeah, there um, it is value. going to be worth your while to get that fifty five dollar weekend rate because we have a yep. ton of content planned for you this year. And just as like yeah. uh, just as an aside, there's um, obviously like we mentioned really early on that the Capcom concert itself is on Friday. Basically, all mm -hmm. of our musical events are on Friday. So if you for some reason don't want to do the whole weekend, we understand. Come by on Friday instead. Buy that Friday day pass and uh, come see what we do have. Like, have a little sample taste of what we do. Mm -hmm. Plus, get a good concert out of it. So, I yeah. think that's a pretty good deal for, like, I don't know what it is, like, 30 bucks. 35? Yeah, and we have lots of really cool people coming aside from them, too. Like, oh, Matt God. Mercer is coming, and he just gave Odafest a shout-out, I think, in their most recent recording. Yeah, though, like, the first the first episode of yeah. their first episode. Yeah, which season, is amazing. Yeah. So. so, good dude. Yeah, we're excited to see him. We're excited to um, do Order Fest. It's going to be a yeah, big deal. Speaking this of year. which, I've also like, <clears throat> so I've kind of transitioned over to main events this year, right? Uh, yeah. hel helping stuff out. So um, I I've got, I've actually started watching Critical Role. It's like it's one no, well, it's it's tough because it's like every episode is like three hours long mm -hmm. because it, it's it's a stream, right? It's, it's like, a background noise deal. Yeah, so I'm just like uh, three hours. Like I'm trying to find a way to do my research because I, you know, like I'm thinking of like. You know, I, I have to interview him, so sure. it's like, oh, what do I do? So, I don't know. Um, I've I was, heard amazing things. I'm, I, have I was hoping. I okay, I was to. hoping you guys have watched it, no. so you can tell. You can give me a, we a have, breakdown. We have more. So. We have. So, like, I mean, it sounds bad. It's like, oh, the podcast people haven't watched it. It's like, well, I mean, the truth is, is like, there's a lot of media consume, and I can't watch everything. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not watching a D <laughs> player, really. So. Yeah. So, but I mean, yeah. we have. You should talk to G. Uh, you should talk to. You can talk to Dylan. Uh, well, and it's like, like obviously, I'm, I'm a lot of people. Like, well, I'm not just going to focus on D and D when he comes, right? It's, sure. it's, yeah, he's it's, done lots. He's done lots of stuff. I mean, like Persona Five is huge, right, for him. So, I mean, really, I thought he was more of a one trick pony. My bad. <laughs> yeah, you know, Overwatch, well, yeah, just yeah. Overwatch, just you Overwatch. Know? Yeah. <laughs> no, fun fact though, he was a cosplayer as well. So, I mean, like that would be fun oh, to he's talk like about. He's like the total package. Yeah, exactly. He is the total nerd package, which is why he's so popular currently. But I kind of makes sense. I, yeah. Like, there's the whole. Sometimes I think about that whole thing where um, I read about like a couple years ago when uh, I guess like cartoons or like anime features were becoming a bigger thing, and then 
um, you have like voice actors, voice actors, mm-hmm. and then you have like famous people who do voice acting, which is like a little mm-hmm. bit of a different thing for me. Like like mm-hmm. for instance, when you know Eddie Murphy gets a role as a voice, and it's not, he has a distinct voice, and I'm not saying he's bad at voice acting, mm-hmm. but I've always wondered like where that line blurs for oh, like voice uh, actors yeah. who, don't, who don't get face work, they don't get camera work, they get specifically what they're known for right and then you have these people who don't need to make any more money <laughs> really well you know to, and they get into these roles like like they they play supporting roles a lot of the sure. time like you you look at like something like um sure but you can look at like moana for example yeah but i mean Ray like johnson the, the, oh, was, no but there's a lot of uh um the, the typical anime and video game voice actors who did do background stuff in moana right? that's true so, but Anyways, oh. yeah. I don't really hate it. I just pointed something out. Mm-hmm. Anyways. It just, it, it, well, it just makes me think of Mark Hamill, who's, like, the perfect person that blurs that line mm-hmm. of, like, yeah. being a, like, a, He's two a different professional people. voice actor, like, immensely, like, He's insane. many different people, actually. Yeah. But he's, yeah. like, he's, like, t- he's, like, two different people in the sense yeah. that, like, I don't, I don't think of Mark Hamill, the voice actor, as Mark Hamill, the guy who plays the Luke Skywalker, Skywalker right? yeah. Like, I don't know. It's weird, maybe. It's not right, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But uh, it doesn't sit with me speaking of mark Ham- mark Hamill, thank you for that segue it was uh we should talk about star wars because we're gonna we we're i would swear to god we're gonna we have to try and keep this short because the, the the movie is already like a month old it the, everyone yeah. said everything they need to say about it but yeah we have words to say well too. i mean it's interesting that like it's so entrenched right now that there's because no it's friggin star wars man it's like yeah the cultural shift of our time. yeah i guess so but i mean like you know prequel hate and prequel like debate didn't prequel get memes this pitched right i mean like yeah. i think um, it's just the accessibility of conversation in our age like yeah, yeah. I mean, people see the movie and they flock to twitter the second they're out of it it's yeah true. you know it's true yeah that's true um, and like like literal like websites uh such as like i don't know about reddit because i don't really go on reddit i know i'm weird that way but the other websites that i do go on that have discussion for entertainment they're like you will be banned if you talk about like Star Wars uh, before like a week into the after the release because spoilers are not acceptable. Like like yeah. it's crazy. It's 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 almost like a media. <laughs> On the note of spoilers, though, I think that the people who really 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 cared and like were terrified were willing to like quarantine themselves from the internet because or you can't watch trust it in the first people. like yeah, fifteen or, hours or of watch it, being it soon. Released. So yeah. when I saw people like a week and a half after being like, "How dare you post Star Wars spoilers?" I'm like, if you really cared, you would have either made the effort to, to mute all the, the people yep. that yep. would be talking about it, or just turn off your phone for three days. Yeah. It's not that hard. Anyway, let's not, let's let's get away from that meta part. Let's talk about the movie. Uh, okay, if you had to rate let's, let's it, let's go rate super, it. Yeah, go, let's go super simple first. Okay, okay. did okay. you like it? Yeah. No, or scale one to ten. No, no, no. Okay, let let let's let's put it in relation to the other Star Wars movies. That's Ooh. too hard. I can't do that's that. A lot of, okay, that's fine. a lot of okay. Fine, fine. Scale of one to ten. Scale of one to ten is fine. Five being five actually being average. Like, let's not okay. go for oh, it's seven's like the average. I hate that thing. People are always like, oh, seven, because it's like non offensive to me. No, I five mean, like, offensive. but it's like five is like halfway there. It's half a movie if you rate it a five out of ten. I was thinking, I like, I- I'd give it a six. That I- bad, huh? For wow. me, I, well, yeah. I went to I'll the same screening as Jay, so okay. we got to talk about it afterwards. Yeah. And I know that he would definitely rate lower than myself. Okay. I. <sighs> I'm I'm I would say like an eight I think yeah solid eight I'd say as well six and a half is as far as I'm willing to go <laughs> yeah, okay a solid a solid eight um okay. and I want to say that I don't hate it like I said five is the average mm-hmm. when you see that you fall into that whole thing about like seven is obviously like the good thing I don't I don't think you mean to but I think it's just well I mean the, culturally interesting well I just think of it like I liked this movie better than I liked episode seven. And oh, I really? like this. Wow. I okay. I did, and I like this movie better than I like episode one and two, probably. Mm-hmm. So it's it probably would fall above yeah. the average of my Star Wars movies. The, the yeah. problem with me is like Same here. it would be an eight if I didn't hear or talk about it at all. Like I, I, yeah. I because the more you scrutinize this particular film, yep, I feel like it falls apart. It's, uh, at the seams a bit. It's interesting, yeah, because um, well, people were talking about that with. Empire Strikes Back back in the day too right and that's um, I yeah. think what people forget is that that movie was really divisive when it first came out too sure right? it just didn't have like such a easy forum of discussion right. yeah. and yeah. honestly like I find this movie tough to rewatch like I like the second I haven't the second it. viewing was a bit tedious for me and like 
Empire was it's like that's a tough movie to rewatch for me, right? Because I have so much investment in it, right? So I don't know. There's so many factors that play. Like it's not as it's not as like, fun a movie. I think it's yeah. a, I think it depends on what you went in expecting, what you went in wanting mm-hmm. to get out of it. If you really liked certain characters and they fell a little bit short for you, maybe that would be yeah. disappointing. But like, I felt, yeah, it's totally relative. Yeah. It's mostly the ending that gets me down the most. It really is. <gasps> oh no, Jay! It was so good. That's debatable. It's know. really it's really the ending because it has to do. Like the the ending is not like the ending is a product of uh, some events that happen in the middle. I'm not like I'm not trying to stay away from spoilers. I'm just like yeah, the whole like the whole Holdo and and uh, distrust and 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 that yeah, kind of thing. that was I, the I have a big I have I, like movie. it's a big it's yeah. a big big part that unsettles me uh, about the writing. Yeah. So what part did you? Let's just Agreed. let's just break it down. What was your favorite part and what was your least favorite part? My favorite part was actually the treatment of Luke. Yeah, actually, just because like and it's really not bad, and everyone whole... saying that he was out of character and he 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 did the wrong. He, Luke Skywalker wouldn't try to kill his own nephew. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like no. Have you watched episode? Have you watched anything with Luke Skywalker in it? Yeah, right. He's he is pretty. He's eager but inept, and then this is just an extension of his character, and. He's still the same boy. He's still the same person. And, like, yeah. you know what? Like, it's not that he hasn't learned. It's just that you are in a constant process of learning. That's the theme here, right? Have you ever watched Rashomon? Or the or did you get the Rashomon? Yeah, yeah, the Rashomon yeah. thing, right? The was three perspectives. The, it three was different so, versions. Yeah. It's so good, actually. Yeah, that so was if great. You, if you're not a film buff, and I'm not even mm-hmm. a huge film buff, but I just love reading about shit. Yeah. Um, Rashomon is a Japanese film. Uh, it's considered a absolute classic. Yeah. And, um, and, and Rashomon, basically, it's about a murder that happens in a field. Mm-hmm. See, as seen from three different perspectives, and yep. at the very end, you don't really get a perfect sense of what's happening. Right. Mm-hmm. But Same you with get um, these, and, but you, it happens in this movie. Yeah. It's a, it's a, there's a reference in the movie because basically you see, like it, it happens on that crux where Luke uh, powers on his lightsaber. He senses the, the dark side of the force developing. Um, Everyone's seen the movie at this point. You don't have to explain the scene. But yeah. Like, no, like, but, I mean, like, like, but no, no. But it's just like literally like you see that scene three times because it's told three different times and i think that's why maybe why some people walked away really upset with luke because if you watch the version that's from ben's perspective and you sympathize with it most then yeah yeah, then you're you feel like luke wouldn't like viciously try to kill his nephew with no remorse but at the same time like yeah, you would, because I don't not maybe not to, in the way that Ben likes his perspective shows mm-hmm. it, but I feel like Luke wants to kill a part. Well, of but him. I mean, yeah. but I mean the whole part, the whole idea of him hiding away on a, on like a, a remote planet, completely regretting all of his choices. That that is like. Jedi 101. Yeah. No, Jedi 101. Yeah, but it's it also like like it's a reflection <laughs> of how much I have failed the Jedi Order. Goodbye. It's a reflection of how much like <laughs> guilt the guy feels over a single mistake he made, right? Yeah. That he hasn't gotten over it. Yep. Like I mean, and th- that's Star Wars in a nutshell. How yeah. much yeah. guilt do you do you feel over a yeah. single? And that was the whole point of made, the whole right? en- ending the Jedi Order. Like I get, I I don't mind the central. That's theme. Darth Vader in a nutshell too. Right? Theme. Like mm. Anakin Skywalker became yeah. Darth Vader out of guilt. So what's right? the thing that you hate? So yeah. What's yeah, the so thing what that you hate? Because like hate? I want to I want to go through. We gotta yeah. Okay, I I hated um the character of Holdo. The whole character. Oh my god, I'm so. I don't know if I hate oh. the whole character. I just don't like how it was. Just no, no. Well, it's the Holdo is a foil to Leia just because she had to be a foil to Leia, you know. And it, she wasn't a she wasn't a like a opposite of Leia though. No, no. but I mean, like it, it it was a it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's a big like, thing for me. Like, can I defend Holdo for yeah, sure? Yeah, you absolutely can. Okay, I. I see a lot of people who get really mad at the arc, like, why didn't Haldo just tell Poe yeah. what her plans were, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And we have to realize that Haldo has never met Poe, and she, all she knows about him is what she's heard, which mm-hmm. has been, he's a rebellious pilot who sacrifices lives right. to try and maintain, to try and down one extra ship. Just let me finish, Jay. Yeah. I know you're going to jump on it. So I want to. if Haldo's want to. been like training and been Leia's companion for years and years and years, mm-hmm. and Leia has just said, "You're demoted. You don't get to know the plan, and we're gonna. Don't worry, we have this handled." And so then Leia, you know, obviously is out of commission for mm-hmm. reasons. And Haldo is just going to honor what her best friend told her to do because all she knows about this guy is that he's some crazy pilot who's going to risk people's lives. 
Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So why would she tell him the I think plan? It's, I yeah. think it's really just... Too, I think it's just poor writing overall. It's oh, not that the I character disagree. needs to exist. It's well, really... Like, if you want to go with that same thing, like, where, like, Holdo has been a companion of, uh, of Leia for a while, like, they, they, they know... Where was that mentioned in the movie? Hmm? Where was that mentioned in the movie? Like, Wasn't it that she's been, like, Leia's right-hand man the whole time? No, that was, ven- that was mentioned in the visual dictionary. You would oh. have to read that to actually to know that. But like, right? if, it was if, never if, mentioned if, in the if movie. she knows, yeah. then 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 Leia would have. I like. Why wouldn't Poe have ever come up yeah. in, in in a previous conversation? No, about, I, like, I, I do agree with that characterization, though. I do agree with that. But my problem with that was that it didn't further any characters. Right? She was a character to further another character, but yeah. it was badly handled. Do you think that if she had told Poe and been like, "Hey, don't do anything. We're just going to run away on these things. Yep. We're going to use this." thing to do you think he still would have been like that's a dumb idea we're going he would have he would have and i think it would have made the canto bite thing a little less pointless and it would have made um him a like develop more as a character when he feel he feels the guilt of her sacrificing herself Uh, the other right uh, like the other thing like that like that's where i thought it was going was that the plan would screw up Everything and then Poe, po- which it, no, it kind of did. Every everybody died. Even, okay, it's easy. They, to, okay, so because it's of easy to, like no, because of Finn and Rose pe- and alerting the people first always order. like yeah, like so, like yeah. people always like go when it comes to Holdo. It's always like why doesn't Holdo trust Poe? And it's like well, we know why Holdo might not trust Poe, but like I also I don't get why Poe doesn't trust Holdo because it's like yeah, she does. She ex- like we to her or sorry to the audience. Where she's a new character, I get that part, and mm. it's not like she gets a whole new like you know backstory or whatever like that. But they mention her as a co- having accomplished certain things in a certain role. She was like the general of mm-hmm. another like another operation, mm-hmm. a rebel o- operation. We know who she is through that idea. Yeah. Poe should know who she is right. through that idea. She's right. She, right, right. Like it might be their first meeting, and I get that that can be jarring sometimes for his impressions and all that stuff. But she, he had like he should be respecting her because it's a very okay. simple idea that <clears throat> she has worked very well in that universe before. She has like you know she's done things. Can I wrap just like wrap up like like the argument there? Yeah. It's like okay, my, my, I think it's just that you you all have good points, but I think that like, what it comes down to is um, rather than make it about like a miscommunication which is kind of what it felt like yeah. yeah it should have been about like a clash of leadership or like a different leadership style compared to leia you know what i mean and that's what should have driven him over the edge not the fact that he was left in the dark yeah you know and should have been content with being left in the dark because yeah. i mean as an, as an audience member you will feel frustration for poe right no one likes being left in the dark about something really important right yeah so. and i i agree with you i think that may have been stronger but i also yeah then Leia and Holdo's relationship would have been different. And I like yeah, the moment agreed. they had. Mm-hmm. So I think, yeah, I think it just comes to down yeah. to, like, it could have gone either it, it, way. The, 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 like, for that type like, of relationship, the movie would have been too bloated. And I, I agree with, like, Ryan Johnson's a lot of the yeah. cuts he made, right? Because it's like, you, you only have... It's already two and a half hours long. Yeah. For God's sake, right? Like, yeah. you want to so throw in another subplot movie. about how Leia and Holdo were friends, right? You can't do, uh, you can't you can't do, do much. That, right? Yeah, yeah, so, I get that part. It's also, I don't know, there's just things like... like so what he got demoted uh, to my knowledge in that in that entire fleet uh, at least like the people they have with him you don't have anyone better you like no one else got promoted to commander no he, one else also killed like a lot of people when Leia no 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 I get that to. I get yeah, that but I mean exactly. like, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. no no but I mean like even if he got demoted in name and stuff like that in, ter- in terms of like actual rank to our knowledge there's nobody else that oh he's the best pilot for is sure the, no, no 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 not even the best pilot like is is the leader of the of the squadron right yeah. Part. So it's kind of like, why are you leaving him in the dark? You won't have anyone else. You won't have another captain to talk to. You won't have another commander. Yeah. I wouldn't have trusted him. <laughs> but that's know. just me. Like, you know what? It should have been like his decision was what caused Leia to get sucked out into space. That would have been oh. interesting too. If he had oh. screwed up, but then didn't feel any guilt about it, saying that I did she, what I had to do. I did what Leia would have thought yeah. I wanted to do, right? <sighs> so I'm, I'm so like, conflicted see, about there's whether a lot, she should have lived. There's a lot of should have things, yeah. right? But, but that's all relative in the end. Because yeah. that's all what people in the online. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 anyway. no. But, but okay. I mean, no, no, hold on. We gotta, you gotta, we, we gotta, gotta stop your stream <laughs> because you gotta, you gotta do at least yours. Because I've already talked about the things that I hate, so I can tell you about the thing that I like. But, oh. I'll, but Sarah, we'll go with yours first. Which one? For, what I hate or what I like? Doesn't matter. I really liked for Skype. 
I yeah, thought yeah, it yeah, was yeah, that was great. The yeah. coolest new force ability they could have possibly come up with. But it's a force with. ability that they've killed off now because only okay, Snoke. No, let me. Oh, only Snow. They have not killed it off because at the Snoke. end of the movie, that connection is still there, and she closes the door in his face, and he sees it, and he's like, "Well," and he hurts. Well, yeah. shoot! I pissed off the pretty girl, and now I don't know <laughs> what to do. The pretty girl. So I think I think Snoke took credit for it to kind of manipulate Kylo and be like, "You don't have something with Ray. There's no connection there." Mm-hmm. It is and me. I made that, and I can take that away yeah. from you. And then Kylo's like, "Oh, I yeah. don't care." <laughs> yeah, and like, and oh. oh, people, people being pissed off about Snoke dying. I don't even give a shit. I love that Snoke died. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind that Snoke died. I just wish we knew who he was. Okay, it doesn't listen, fucking matter. Would you it have doesn't. been happier if right before he got sliced in half, he was like? I'm was, Darth Plagueis. I used to be I'm known Jar Jar. as another name. Darth yeah. Plagueis the Wise. And then he died. Yeah. Would you be like, ah, oh, yes. What a the good tragedy. movie. Yeah, well, <laughs> what a tragedy. Well, no, then, then it would be like, then all no, the, pre- all not, the prequel nerds would be like, holy shit, this is like a metaphor for the hubris of the Sith and stuff. No, <laughs> shut up. But like, Look, I get it. it. I get it. It's not like yeah, you, with it's Palpatine, not for example, yeah. you don't know who he is until the Return the of the Jedi, yeah. Like, like you, don't, you don't really, no, but you don't get to know like but who he really is. Even like, in the original I get that. trilogy, just, he's like a ghoul in a hood. Yeah, in the original trilogy, before the prequels, you're just like, the fuck is the Emperor? Why is he old? What the fuck? He can shoot lightning, right? Yeah. Oh, while we're on like the tangent, yeah. Palpatine, like original trilogy Emperor and Snoke are such perfect parallels of each other because they just serve as like the ultimate evil figure mm-hmm. while the redeemable yeah. kind of evil guy is like under him, like yeah. Kylo and Darth yeah, Vader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And those are the ones that you really care about. But like the e- ultimate evil guys are kind of just used like to develop... Yeah, those to get guys. There, to get there. Yeah. And I think that it was smart that they killed Snoke in this film because if they left it for the last film, it would be like everyone would be like, oh, it's just the you same as the original after, trilogy. Yeah, again. Exactly. You, after you kill or after you somehow mm-hmm. redeem or kill Kylo, then you still have to deal with Snoke. There, there is a lot yeah. of cool stuff about Snoke in the supplemental stuff. Yeah. It should have been in, in Force Awakens because, like, my, my biggest question going into Force Awakens was why is there still a rebellion? Why is there still. Um, a first order. Why they look exactly like the Empire? Well, yeah. the supplemental stuff says that yeah, Snoke true. is obsessed with the past. And then, mm-hmm. if you had built that that connection, he's obsessed with the past. Ben's whole thing of kill the past would have been so much more powerful. Yeah, yeah. right. Because he he now metaphorically and literally does it. Yeah. Right. I want to point out that I don't. It's not even that I really want to know who Snoke is. I yeah. just I'm pissed that such a powerful character, like like a like a powerful being. Yeah, is like. Ah, uh, you got poked and stabbed. But dude, everyone, <laughs> everyone got upgraded in power. Everyone did. It's like what happened to to Y wings. Now they're gigantic, like cruiser sized bombers, right? No, Y wings don't make to... sense. Don't Y wings wouldn't make sense. Well, they're that. bombers. <laughs> they're bombers. They don't. Yeah, Y wings okay. don't do cluster okay, bombs. Okay, well, yeah. Anyways, okay. Why did you not like? Oh, can I think about it? Okay, I can There's nothing well, that I walked away from that I right. was like really, really mad, mad about. about. Justice for Admiral Akbar. Yeah, Justice dude. for Admiral Akbar. <laughs> and I understand why they did it. The voice actor died. Oh, really? I yeah, the voice that. actor died. Believe it or not, when you have an old franchise, they don't all survive to a certain point. I mean, yeah. I was like, huh, there you go. Yeah. Bye, dude. Um, like, and, I don't know. Just just overall, the, the good moments outweigh the bad. And the bad moments are more plot and writing stuff rather than... Yeah, and like yeah, the, thing, the things I think about stuff. I don't like, like I didn't like in at my inis- initial gut reaction were just yeah. because of like salty fanboy things. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, oh, oh no, I really I really wanted Ray to train with Luke and for it to work out and for it's them like, to be best buds. But you know that's not going to happen. Dude, you're going to make out. <gasps> okay, <laughs> if you want that to happen, like what? Just fucking go read the books where that happens, you know? I know. Or, made out? No, I'm kidding. So I, I like there's nothing <laughs> That I really Leia really flying through space. Did you, were you okay I, with that? I like yeah, that. I love that. That was great. I didn't, I didn't hate it, I, but I did feel like it was, it'd be okay if she uh, passed away. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, you just like, couldn't go like mm, that. No, though. but I mean, not, okay. I don't know. It's a whole because uh, there's Kylo. There's possible Kylo Man, development. If there, she if had he, finished he, her, if she hadn't finished her scenes, I actually think that the entire movie would have been like completely rewritten around her death, and it actually might have been better for it. Honestly, could be because like a say. lot of people were saying it should have been Leia instead of Holdo. That we're getting a steps. CG, aren't we? Or no, no, we're not. No, we're not. Definitely not. No, I think they said no. no they said no. They fa- confirmed really? they won't do it. They confirmed they won't do it because oh. they were upset about. Um, a lot of people were upset about the CG characters in Rogue One. So I kind of feel like maybe this is just like Tarkin? theory, yeah. mojo, mo- whatever. Yeah. But I f- I felt like the initial intention was to kind of, in some ways, have like Anakin's journey a little bit in reverse. 
and that he was gonna like uh, or that like Anakin's journey if it had worked out and that in the yeah. end Kylo had really like would have been helped by Leia because so far he Leia's like the only person that he hesitated with do yes. you know what I mean yeah. he could have killed her and I think maybe in the final film that's kind of like the direction they wanted that's to fair. go with mm-hmm. it but I don't obviously they can't do that now so yeah. I don't yeah. know I don't know. It's yeah. hard to say. Yeah, it's really hard to say how that third, how the third movie is gonna, is going to be affected um, specifically by those yeah. developments. Well, I was just glad that she got her like really powerful force moment. Yeah, and I, I don't understand why people would be upset about that because it's like she's how a Skywalker man. She's a Skywalker. It was set up thirty years ago. Yeah. I can, I can, like, I, I can understand that maybe it's a really silly image for people when they first see it and yeah. they don't have all that context. Like, if you just went to go see like, a I Star Wars movie and you hadn't watched all the other ones or whatever and you see this old lady flying through space, you'd probably be like, huh. Yeah. Okay. I'd be like, yeah, but, well, I don't know. A lot of, is... See, it's, it's kind of like Yoda pulling a lightsaber in episode two. Everyone, a lot of people really like that. A lot of, like, really uh, people I've talked to who hate the prequels said that that was a highlight of the prequels. And versus for me, I'm just like, ugh. I just wish there was more. I just wish there was more development in, ter- in terms of her being able to use the force more than anything else, because really. that's a really powerful like use. Like not you don't. Mm, no, not for really. someone who's well, not. We do know that the force comes to people really strongly in in times of need. So even if so, before she never had any like really strong examples of using it, other than feeling Luke and feeling Han and feeling her son through the force. I think it's still... <laughs> feeling, <high sun. laughs> feeling everything. Uh, just, um, she has a lot of feelings. Yeah. yeah. I think it's I yeah. think it's totally possible that it would, like, no, save uh, her think, in that moment. And again, keep in mind, everyone got upgraded in power. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Right? True. Like, Ray is Ray super should power not, Luke. Ray should not even be, like... Able to do the stuff she does, but no. yet she's able to, right? No. So, but whatever. We, we're okay with that, right? We're there already. <laughs> There's no going no. back. <laughs> It's interesting because like Anakin had three movies to prove how powerful he was with the Force versus yeah. like Ray has one. Yeah. You know, like what? How, how? You have to cram a lot of stuff in there, right? Yeah. It's like you, at least even Luke's at least makes sense because Yoda is like the Grandmaster. You know, well, Luke's didn't even make sense at the time either. Like, I guess. no, I mean, going back to Empire Strikes Back, it's like, huh? Uh, a puppet. <laughs> or it's like in Episode Six, the, the the jump from Episode Five Luke to Episode Six Luke. That to me screams arrogance, not the fact that he's confident. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Episode six, he's a hot mess. Yeah, he kind of is. Yeah. He's always kind of a hot mess. Speaking mm. of original oh. trilogy characters, kind yeah. of segue, did you how did you feel about Yoda's appearance? Yoda's appearance was probably the most perfect moment in that movie, <laughs> and no one can fucking tell me otherwise. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. That I don't was, mind the I, way I he lost, looked. I like, lost my about, like, shit. Literally the way he oh looked? Oh my god. I lost my <laughs> I shit. Don't... Are you talking about the actual like the, the, no, the role just... he played or like the way he looked? In general. Everything. Oh, when the two ears popped up, the silhouette, I just screamed. It's a little, I was it, so excited. I, I, actually, I felt like it was a little cheesy. Like the it's actual, so, appear, it's like so the, the appear, like gratuitous. The, not, oh, no, like, I don't mind. Cheesy. I don't, Welcome to Star Wars, my friend. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know. I, I, I didn't mind the actual role that he kind of played uh, with Luke and everything. That I just, mm-hmm. and I didn't mind that he looked like, mm-hmm. or he was a puppet. Yeah, I believe, right? He was yeah, it was a puppet. It was a puppet. Was yeah, a puppet. Yeah. Yeah. Frank Oz was in. And on this one, right? No, you he, he no, was. no. He's yeah, Frank Oz just does the voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, but the point is, is like I just, I just thought it was a little bit over the top with some of the stuff, but it was like uh, overall, I don't mind. It, it I don't just, know. That everyone was, was going to run. Everyone was going to run parallels, anyways. Like yeah. like through ESB and 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 mm-hmm. everything like that. So it was like whatever, just do it. No, like, I don't know. <laughs> that that was the most Yoda esque thing he could have done. Just lit the tree. Just lit the tree on fire. And Luke's like crying, and he's like, "Shut up! Don't worry about it. It's fine." Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> don't be a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> a, a bitch like, you are. Like 40, 40 <laughs> years it. later, you're still a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, well, dude, being you a haven't bitch talked to me in forty years. <laughs> I think um, there's there's a YouTuber I follow. I think her name's Jenny something, but uh, AC showed me to her. But she made a episode talking about this movie, and she said that like she thought everybody was gonna love it because she went to the early screening mm-hmm. because if people liked Rogue One for Darth Vader coming down the hallway killing everybody. One, yeah. They were gonna like this movie for Yoda showing up for that like nostalgia yeah, yeah. factor. I get that. And if people hated The Force Awakens because they were like, ah, oh, it's too similar to the other movies, mm-hmm. and then they came to this movie, it's totally different. They were gonna like it. Yeah. So it's like, it's I weird. think he did a really good job of kind of balancing what people sure. come to Star Wars for mm-hmm. because you had the Yoda cameo, which was so like gratuitous to mm-hmm. hardcore fans, but I it was think, still done well. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
Anyways, the, uh, we got it. We got close out the segment okay, okay. soon. Uh, okay, okay. What did you not like, and what did you like? Okay, you I already, already know. I already know what I didn't like. What did you like? Holdo, which is uh, what did you like? Honestly, my favorite thing is just the, the fight scene in the throne room. Holy fuck! That's yes. really. That's really like. I know that might be like really superficial, yeah. and, and like no. in in some way. No. But I mean, there is like there is like there is a point to it, like in the story as well, which is like it's a big fucking the way deal, that, the that, movie that was shot in that total. Turn yeah, the good. turn. Yeah, but like that fucking fight scene is great. The 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 elite soldiers coming. I can't. What are their names? Praetorian guards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The red hoods. Yeah. <laughs> Red Hood people. I almost, I almost always want to say Presbyterian. God. Presbyterian. <laughs> Praetorian. Those Presbyterians, yeah. I'm telling you. Those Pescatarians Those and their fish eating ways. Yeah. Um, but no, no, no. Like, that was, that was a really good fight, uh, mm-hmm. choreography. Obviously, it was going to be because of the, the, the importance of the scene, but yeah. I mean, um, that, that pen click kill ruined my life. Yeah. Oh, brutal. Oh, right? Just, so good. <laughs> So I good. I thought I was gonna pass out. And like, you know what? Okay, but it, it goes back to that whole like, what if if you're a force user and you're or you're like Jedi versus Sith, won't you just like force turn off each other's weapons? Oh, all yeah. the time? <laughs> okay, you, you ever seen Ryan Johnson's other movies like Looper and stuff? He always loves to put little morbid like. Oh, he did Looper. Call, yeah, he did Looper. Yeah, that. he likes to always. He, a, he's a thematic filmmaker which explains a lot of decisions but it, it's also like he puts a lot of little callbacks um, in previous scenes to like sure. murder scenes. Yeah. Like, there's a really pivotal moment in Looper that's like like mind blowing because of like you know something happened yeah. previously that was like similar but you know um i just love that scene because a- right after it happened i'm like wait a minute this this is a callback to the porgs playing with the lightsaber yeah oh my god yeah it's like and it's just like now you actually see it done on like a, a like an actual bad guy you're like holy crap that's so cool yeah I, uh, oh, anyways it, yeah. it was a speaking little it was a little porgs. filmmaking trick that i thought was really cool yeah, but anyways yeah. speaking of the porgs i there's actually one thing that I overall didn't like about the movie. Porks. Porks? It wasn't the porks. Oh, thank God. Specifically. Okay. Uh-huh. But the porks are kind of involved. Oh, I know what you're going to say. It's the humor of the movie. Oh. Yeah. There's Star yeah. Wars humor, and there's like what I would call like non-Star Wars humor. You could call it Disney there's humor. There's Marvel humor. It's Marvel humor. Or, Mar- or Marvel humor. Mm. You yeah. see it. And, and Marvel might be a good way of putting it because you see it in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yep. You see it like in Thor Ragnarok. They just cram the movie with, with jokes, jokes and, and witty not dialogue. Every joke and is a Star Wars. It doesn't have to be a Star Wars reference, yeah. but there is a Star Wars style of joke, and that is a little bit on the dry side. Like uh, when, like, like, wipe that worried look off your face, C three PO. Like you know that kind of idea. Mm-hmm. Versus like there's a porg in the Millennium Falcon, and its face goes smash against the glass, and you're like, haha, that was cute, and it's but like, I but it's completely know. unnecessary. I mean, there are um, moments that agreed. are stupid. Yep. In original trilogy too, but I think I understand why maybe it yep. bothered some people. Yep. But like just, Chewie, Chewie has to wear C three PO as a backpack. He gets his head put on backwards. There's stupid stuff yeah. all the time in Star Wars. I get Wars. that too, but it the was prequels. still like. Yeah, but I and think the pre- it was, it's, George it's R. Binks. The tone of the yeah. humor. It's the tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the humor. No, and not it, the it's not, not necessarily the content, but the tone. It's it, always I'm, always. Tone. But see, these movies are a product of the time in which they were made, though. Right? That's true. Like, in order to make a witty, and that's what's considered witty writing nowadays, yeah, or like, I should, you know, I should just be happy there's no, like, yeah. there's no, like, lightsaber where it's like a, like a fidget spinner. Lightsaber. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah. You, you ever watch Rebels? I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, you ever nice. watch Rebels? I'm not that I'm far not, in Rebels. No, I'm, oh, okay. I'm not ready. sorry. I can't be ready. There is a, okay, sorry. Oh. I don't, no, no, tell me. I don't There's mind. a fidget spinner lightsaber, basically. It's effectively a fidget spinner lightsaber. Is it like, a gr- it's like a grievous lightsaber. No, okay. I was thinking so, exactly so, the same no, thing. No, 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 like, no, no, so, no, no. It's probably <laughs> it's Darth. Okay, it's Darth Maul's double-ended lightsaber, except it's on a oh, ring, no. and the, the central ring rotates, and then he just walks down the hallway with it like extended like this. I mean, that oh makes. Oh my god! Yeah, it's it, kind it of like what sense. Grievous does, but it's just the lightsaber. Yeah, like. exactly. I just, it's, it's dumb. <laughs> for some reason, it's I just stupid, thought about. But yeah, did you when you were a kid in the playground, and I'm talking about like kindergarten level stuff? Um, do you remember that one like? Play by yourself, like skip rope thing that like you hook onto one leg. Oh, and yeah. then oh, you jump yeah. over it. I yeah, can't remember yeah. the name of it, but it has like a counterweight on the other side, and yeah. it just like it just swings around. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking about for it, some reason. It kind of is like that. Yes, <laughs> except you could attach a lightsaber, and if you uh, if you miss, you lose yeah. a foot. <laughs> yeah, it's it's effectively a fidget spinner lightsaber in Rebels. Okay, it's, it's, it's anyway. pretty dumb. Oh, Anyways, okay. on that okay. note, <laughs> okay, can I just put one more? Let's say yes. one more thing. Okay, I really think this. A lot of the haters. 
are going to be a lot more satisfied once this comes out on DVD slash Blu-ray and whatever. Okay. I, uh, yeah. I digital think media. Digital, digital media. Home media. I think they're going to watch it in context of the rest of the saga and they're going to realize that a lot of the characterization actually does make a ton of sense. And I, well, the characterization, I don't have too many problems. Yeah. But with. again, it's really like, just like, the it's other the thing is, yeah. think about how people felt. I mean, maybe you can remember. I can't remember. Um, when they watched episode one. And then episode two came out, and that's what they were left with. Yeah. <laughs> and then they had to wait for episode three. But episode three was great, right? Exactly. So, yeah, really. So what I'm saying is, uh, we're, right just, now we're in, it's the, a middle in chapter. the middle of the trilogy. Just wait. Sure. Yeah. It's yeah. going to get wrapped up, and it's mm-hmm. going to be My, great. Yeah. One last little baby gripe is okay. literally, I'll never be able to see Holdo as anyone other than Jurassic Park woman. <laughs> yeah. Laura Dern. Laura Dern. Laura, yeah. She, I'm not saying that she's a bad actress. Hey, it's could, literally like... It could Jurassic be, Park is so much to dude, me. Dude, it could be Sam Jackson again. People were like, why the hell is Sam Jackson in exactly. Star Wars? Like, like, there's so. that moment where I'm like, but why are you here? Wait, <laughs> you're this like, is related. You're in a different okay. universe. Yeah. I'm so sad that Captain Phasma died. She's not dead. She, she's a, she's she, gotta be she dead. She died oh. poorly. She, she, that, no, that, that, she didn't. She died awesome with her mask. Like, poorly. Half, Poked in. I, she deserves, I mean, she deserved a better. I don't Stephen think doesn't she's think dead, she's dead either. I don't think she's dead. Oh. I don't care if she's dead. Uh, it's, it, if she's, she's, she's scared if she's not dead. That's they're going to realize the potential of Boba Fett is the whole purpose oh, of yeah. the character. <laughs> the whole purpose of the character is a surrogate Boba Fett. That, so Boba Fett that makes sense shows up, yeah. he looks awesome, and then goes out like a bitch. Okay? Phasma shows up, looks awesome, goes out like a bitch, but hey, if she comes back, then she's refulfilling this whole, like, there's less Boba Fett. You Boba think Fett. they could do it again? They could. Yes, oh. of course they could. I hope so, because I love it. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Other stuff that we actually have to talk about. Can we have, to talk, can we have to talk about this talk stuff? About this I, stuff? I, I can talk, talk about Star about Wars stuff. forever, please. Alfred, let's just mute Jay's mic. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, we can, <laughs> no, just kidding. So I mentioned earlier there's a bunch of stuff I don't plan to see. Like, I literally... There are things that people are like, oh, yeah, I would love to go see this. this there's is lots of things related. I don't plan I don't, I don't plan to see. It's still related to Star Wars. Han Solo. Han Solo. Han Solo. I don't. I don't want to see Han Solo. Okay, wait. I don't. It's not that it, I care. It, it about, like, I think the actors are, will be fine. I'm not even saying that it'll be a really bad movie. I just. Yeah. I don't I'm going to Han Solo for Lando, not for Han. There, there's yeah. that. There's yeah. that thing Donald too. Donald Glover is going to kill Glover is Donald Glover. Oh, kill love it. him. He is going to kill it. And the thing is, there's just going to be some sort of like meta irony to seeing Childish Gambino or like Troy from community from community on yeah. on screen as lando you know yeah. there, there's just going to be uh, some court, sort of like ironic appeal about that i don't give a shit about the movie i just want to see him as lando that's it True. yeah i i'm in a i was i'm of you a similar opinion Chewy? yeah i like i went to rogue Are one gonna... watching like the one trailer with zero expectations yeah. i was like well i'll just are they gonna it, cover the life death thing yes. you think what? actually hmm? what? are they gonna cover the life debt thing you think oh yeah they're gonna cover the the Sabbath game where he wins the Millennium Falcon. They're gonna cover the the Kessel two. Makes, they're gonna cover the Kessel Run. They're gonna cover the Wookiee life debt. They're gonna cook. They're gonna cover. I'll probably, I'll probably watch it like after theaters. There's there's gonna be a short shout out to how to like you know Lando ending up on Cloud City. There's gonna be I don't know. There's gonna be shout shout out after shout out. There'll be a Yoda be cameo. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you, are you still a fan of Rogue One? I'm actually not a fan of that movie anymore. I, I you're a butt. I. Rogue One's my favorite out of all the new movies. Okay, yeah. you know what's really fun? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to bring it up. Okay. We'll get into a fight. Um, I Alfred loves getting into fights. No, Rogue One yeah. is... <laughs> no, with you. Because, like, someone oh, said, me? if someone hates Last Jedi, I guarantee they love Rogue One. Because they're... Oh, yeah. God. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Because it's different... Anyway, sorry, I don't want to get no, into that No, it really meta. has... No, that has, it has nothing to do with me. Like, the thing that I like about Rogue One the most is I like spaceships. <laughs> that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm a very basic boy And that's sense. great. Yeah. I love spaceships. There's so many spaceships. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love Chirrut and Baze. Baz? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how to say his name. Yeah. Oh, I love Chirrut. I love them. Uh, Rogue One Chirrut is probably... In the hierarchy of Star Wars, it's probably on my lower Same. average end. Same. It's my favorite. Like, it has it's no my rewatchability. Favorite sense, like, it's just above episode two for me. Oh. Yeah, have you already watched low. it? Have you already watched it in in context, like in in order with with other stuff? I have you put not. Rogue One in the Rogue One? I have not marathoned it or watched everything in order in um, a long time. I think you're gonna have to wait until the, the, the trilogy finishes before just, you do just, that. Just yeah, guess. you're worried yeah. about the rewatchability of it. It's just like I do not give a shit about anything in this movie until the final half hour, and that's not a good. That's not the sign of a good movie. 
Yeah, I'm okay. I, I, I'm okay with that idea. Like, like story wise, I can admit that like it's not yeah particularly like gripping. No, until, but we're, until we're talking about, like, talking that last about shitty hour. writing. Rogue One takes the cake. To be yeah. to be fair, I think my own personal bias is what grips me in Star Wars movies is my attachment to certain characters. Mm-hmm. So even though the prequel writing is really really bad, I could watch Episode Three a gazillion times and love it every single time because my attachment to those the, that three those those main three is really really strong. Um, Rogue One, unfortunately, because it's a standalone movie, doesn't have enough time to develop, a, yep. a, and and it makes you feel really bad for the characters when they die. Mm-hmm. But that's the that's like the extent of how much we ever get to love yeah. them, or, or you exactly. know what I mean. Yeah. And that's it's why I love final. Last it's Jedi because yeah. I love Kylo Ren's character. I think sure. he's a terrible hurt human, I, but I, I love really his like character. the way that I I actually really sympathize with how Kylo Ren uh, is portrayed in in. Uh, Last Jedi, and generally speaking, he is now my favorite character in the yep. new trilogy. And he's, he's the most interesting. And he's the most interesting. He's shot. the most complex. And like, I didn't really care for him in the first uh, in, in Force Awakens, yeah. but definitely <clears throat> Last Jedi. Like, yeah. I, I I'm with him because he. Yeah. And it's weird because he and Luke essentially have almost like the same idea, but it's just, just from, approach from different ideas uh, from different standpoints. Yeah, and uh, resources. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Anyways. Another movie that I don't want to watch. <laughs> Han Solo? Oh. Oh, no. I, 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 I'll, I'll more likely watch Han Solo than I will watch an, another superhero movie. Is basically what it comes down to. I'm tired of superhero movies, man. Same. Same. I can't do it. I liked Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok was good. It was, it was I, fun. Not that I hear yeah. that these movies are bad. I just don't care. Yeah, like Thor I went to watch because everyone told me it was great. But I, I watched it like towards the end of its box office run. You like, know? And I was just like one of like four people in the theater and I was like okay it's alright if the, if, if the last superhero movie I watch in the next five years is I think the last one I watched was Guardians of the Galaxy 2 I'll be okay with that, that I'm was just a, gonna yeah. I need to I need to stop. that was a disappointing movie Very yeah disappointing I didn't like it movie. Yeah. I didn't see it because uh, for the same reasons we're talking about I was just like eh, don't care but yeah Thor I went to go see because if I had to pick out of all the main Avengers he's my favorite mm-hmm or more most interesting to me, I it's guess, and, and and Loki, like Tom Hiddleston, Loki? I can't stay yeah. away. I try, so I want to see it. But I, I, I thought I was going to see Thor Ragnarok because I really like the Hulk. The Hulk is my favorite. Yeah, mm. Hulk is great in that movie. Yeah, and I get that, but he, I know he's never going to get his standalone, his own treatment because it's too. He he just it's not a great character, to be honest. But I just like him. Yeah, okay. and but ev- it's not even me about like being salty. It's just like it's really. There's so many. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Avengers. The trailer has, still looked okay. Avengers I'm, has to do a lot to actually bring me back to caring about Marvel, but I don't think it will. Just I'll watch because Deadpool. It makes. Uh, I, I kind of wish. I, I think I'll, I'll probably watch Deadpool. Too. Yeah, that's like the last one. I not can, in I can theaters. Think. I'll probably watch it some at some other point because I did see the first Deadpool in theaters and it was okay. Mm. I thought. So I don't know. Like, I wish Black Panther had come into it a little bit earlier because same. I want it that movie like to rushed. do well. Yeah, no, same. I want it. I don't think it'll do as well because I feel like people are really apathetic about the but whole. It could be the way. other way around. It could be like it could be like I have to watch Black Panther because he plays a big part. Like, like for the people who are yeah. invested, mm. they'll be like, I have well, to watch this. If you are so invested in Marvel, you will watch Black Panther regardless. Regardless, oh, comes right? Yes. Like, what needs to happen with superhero movies nowadays is that it needs to be different enough to get people who are not normally into the genre into it and reinvent it, right? I thought that was going to happen with Ant Man with its humor and oh, with, um, you know, uh, Edgar Wright as the director. Yeah. Of course, he got canned, you know, that didn't really work out. Yep. Ant Man was mediocre, right? Um, Black Panther. I, mean, I like Paul Rudd. Black Panther, <laughs> for the, like for the first time. Okay, you you got this movie where that has a really strong like Afrofuturism kind of aesthetic to it, and it's like no one's gonna care. No, you know. Well, so. maybe th- I hope they will. The buzz on Twitter that I've seen has been really positive, but I yeah. mean, I follow a select like couple individuals, so um, yeah, I just I hope that movie does well. If sure. I can afford to, I want to go see it too. Yeah. So. Oh no. Well, we'll see. I'm. Yeah. I'm if it it ends up being like a one room situation where it's like you know hey it's it's a it is a critically you know yeah. well reviewed and it is you know it, watching it would be supporting a certain message to Hollywood then yeah I would. It so. looks cool though, like it looks cooler than most of them. Oh yeah. God, as long so. as it's better than fucking Civil War. Oh my 
God, what a tedious. Civil, Civil War, War is worth it for the ten minutes where Spider Man is on screen. Yeah, Civil War Flying was. Around, Civil War is it. a lot like the Rogue. It has the Rogue One syndrome, where it's like shitty writing overall, but it's worth it for a few select scenes. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it doesn't have spaceships, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you you underestimate my love for spaceships. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I love spaceships. You'll probably love Han Solo. I have a feeling that's going to be a lot of it. One, I like one ship. <laughs> yeah, one yeah, ship. yeah. You're like you're ship. asking me about one ship versus like a lot of ships. a lot of ships <laughs> crashing and I like blowing. Lots of ships. And, yeah, uh, I'm a very I'm childish in that manner, I suppose. But yeah. I just I don't know. There's something about mass star battles. Like my favorite. I I don't have a. Uh, a Star Wars game that I really like other than Rogue, Rogue Squadron. Squadron and yeah that, because it's mm. 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 how does it feel <laughs> how does it feel to know that you'll never get another Rogue Squadron game because of EA I don't care I have Rogue Squadron <laughs> I have it on my PC I have it out here that's true. you're so optimistic <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I'm like bright, it's fine I'm a bright child uh. you can't crush me <laughs> I've got what I want you, know, you, can, you can always run Dolphin you know run Rogue, Squad- Rogue Leader at 4k this is true too. Yeah, you can do that. And I can so. always go to a rec room and play. Uh, that game got shallow pretty quick. I don't know. It's it's, it's, it's fun I, while I don't it lasts. Mind. I don't, yeah. Like it, it's a rail. It's a rail shooter. It's like yeah. whatever. But it's still like I don't care. Did you play Battlefront two? No, no I'm not giving okay. them. A, has either. Stefan played it yet? Stefan was gonna buy it second hand because he said I really want to play it, but, but I don't want to support, support EA. EA. And I don't. Did think he ever he's, get it? I don't think he's gotten it yet. I I kind of want to play it just so we can like play as kylo i watched some cosplayer made a video where they're playing like co-op and it's just ray versus kylo and they're like in a huge map like uh-huh. going after each other uh-huh. and like that looked really fun but i mm. don't know you, i think at this point it's like you're not going to be heartbroken if you never play. yeah I'm, i I never really played many star wars video, play video games, games anyway. yeah no uh, I, I played a ton and just like uh that was has so much yeah. promise but then modern gaming happened yeah yeah, yeah. one potential future thing that I'm still like tin foil hatting about though is that there was a photo of Ewan McGregor released. I don't know if you guys saw it. I saw it. But he looks um, a lot like Obi Wan, you guys. It's happening. I think it's gonna happen. I know. There's way too much demand for it to happen, right? I think they're gonna I'm learn. Confused. Okay, let me explain. There was a Please do. he he rec- like for the past couple years. Last year he was bald for his role in Fargo and stuff like that. And everyone, like crazy people like me, are like, the moment he starts growing a beard, I'm going to be very concerned. And then he <laughs> he went to the gold, Golden Globes, lo- literally looking like old Ben Kenobi. Yeah. And everyone was kind of like, huh, that's really interesting. And then... They're like, a pro- hi, let's talk about some of your projects. <laughs> yeah. Kenobi. And then, uh, <laughs> and then like a physical, like a trainer uh-huh. released a photo of the guy who invented the P9... What's that workout? The P90X. P90X. That yeah. guy, he... Re- he posted a photo of Ewan McGregor training with him look like with his beard and his comb over like Kenobi yeah. hair like Funny. doing physical training and everyone's like are you gearing up for a role there sir? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what you doing? No yeah. I just like uh, he's just it was he's, like he's the, the biggest um, troll the world has ever seen it was <laughs> like no it was like the videos of uh, Keanu at the um uh, the gun range, right? And everyone's like, oh, John Wick 2? And then lo and behold, it was John Wick 2. Oh, God, right? don't yes. get my hopes up. Yeah, so, I don't know. I think uh, if it happens, it'll be similar to the vein of the spinoffs where it's, like, super pandery. Yeah. And it will be targeted specifically at the to audience you. of Sarah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. okay with Sarah, that. this yeah. Sarah. Not other Sarahs. This Sarah. This one. The girl who came... Because I wrote the itinerary for podcast, like, you know, a few days ago. And I was just like, yeah, we're going to talk about Star Wars. So who comes up in this Star Wars shirt? This girl. <laughs> yeah, I got one too. Are you wearing one too? Yeah, I'm yeah one but too. hers is better than yours. Yeah. No, we're both. We got cool ones. My, okay, mine's an obscure nerdy reference though. Oh, yours is the poster. Yeah, mine is uh, rock band. Okay, get out of here. Get rock out. band. It's like a, it's like, it looks a, like a concert uh, okay. poster. Revenge of the band. Sith shirt on. Yeah, that's like screen prints. Like wait, anyway, deposition. Yeah, mine's revenge yeah. of the Jedi. Revenge. Oh, we, yeah. Yeah, oh. it's a nerdy in joke. Yeah. Talking yeah. kind of like because I talked about rec room. I I've only went there twice now. It's not bad. I still like it. Rec room. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, something else that's cool that's coming in is uh the pop up Lego bar. I signed up. Oh yeah. Uh, what is that? It is a Lego themed bar. <laughs> it's a, it's gonna be a oh. pop up. It's not gonna be like a. It's not gonna be like a. It'll it'll be housed in a temporary location. Yeah. And they'll move out probably after a month or so. That's you know what, cool. You want know North America needs more of themed bars. Like why can't we just pull out Japan? You know and have like 
maid cafes. Because no, no, we're not. I'm just kidding. We're not, <laughs> I'm just thinking our, about our, our culture is not yeah. conducive towards it. Like, I okay. So when That's I started true. the ma- I the maid cafe ten years ago, yeah. Like, and I come from a background of restaurateurs. Like, like mm-hmm. my my mom and dad were like they were chefs. They were restaurant owners and stuff like that. At no point, as much as the maid cafe has grown for Odafest specifically. And and there have been attempts by other third parties to be like, hey, let's open a May Cafe in, in Calgary. <laughs> At no point yeah. have I ever had that illusion where I felt like it would be a smart uh, investment. Yeah, yeah so. pro- no, not in Calgary. It's, it's a wistful. And that's not even, that's not even yeah. that niche of a thing. It's literally, it's it's an Asian version of like Hooters. Yeah. I, I want to oh my god! It is. <laughs> no, it totally is. Actually, that was a big concern because back wow. in the day, and it's not that far off, is it? I, but I mean, I've now that I think th- about I've it, I've never thought it was. No, I've well, never thought it was a big guy. Like, back in the day, right? Like when people were discussing it, one of the biggest counterpoints was that you're going to have people who misunderstand the intent of this, right? Are going to go in and try to like tip the maze to do degrading things, you know? And like that's. You know, in the current climate, I mean, in they're Calgary. already doing degrading things. They're serving you. No, <laughs> <laughs> they're dancing. I got these you. cute, yeah. like very hardworking girls to do a dance and serve you. Like, isn't that yeah, degrading? No. You sound like a pimp right now, Jay. No, but I mean, I it's like <laughs> it, it's like you know, you know, if you're gonna open a maid cafe in like a Western country, you got to deal with that, right? Because our, our ideals yeah. of what's sexually appropriate, inappropriate, are like yeah. But really I mean, like again, if you different, think, if you, you know, think an Asian. Oh themed version of of Hooters is hard already. They're, we're, we're not going to get like an X-Men uh, 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 I don't know. Cafe See, I, I think about like, you know then I, mean? I like, think about gonna... then I think about like you own board game cafes and how unrealistic that was for a while, right? And then, but that's entertainment plus food. Cat yeah, cafes? So, yeah, but I mean like, like the, yeah, and cat cafes. I mean like theme it towards something like that, right? Like I don't mean I'm like May cafes. It's impossible. Yeah. I, it's just going to be a big niche. It's yeah. going to be a big niche, number one. Number two, um, like it has to have lasting, um, like lasting impact. Like the other thing in in the restaurant business is like if your restaurant lasts five years, mm-hmm. that's already a good lifespan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Like you're, you're you're asking for something like you you know you're gonna be in the down. Oh no, you, you can't you can't like, tell me a Disney Princess Cafe years. wouldn't do well in Calgary. You can't tell me that, right? So actually, yeah, that's. I'm not saying that'd be a bad idea, but then the licensing. Oh yeah, no, and like the there would be grown women. That's, that's the other thing yeah. I want to point out. <laughs> Licensing in Japan is way different. Licensing in Asia is way no, different. No, I, I, I get that. They yeah. don't give a shit, number yeah. one, about Western licensing. They don't. Number two, the, the licensing in Asia that you can get for, like, let's say, Gundam and anime and shit, they'll be like, oh, yeah, you can open up a Doraemon cafe. Whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. Just give me some of the money. We're going to be cool. But, like, in like here, for like for an example, like Disney, they'll be like, I'll crush you. They'll come I'll crush you. you. Yeah. And then I will make your product, but better, and yeah. I'll laugh at you. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> That's so I, true. I, I kind of miss that whole like tactile experience. I don't know if you remember this, um, or if you were in Calgary at the time, but mm-hmm. uh, Sunridge Mall, there used to be a uh, Star Wars-themed store. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and it was... Is it, it like Sanrio stores? Yeah, kind of. Well, it was called Star Wares. Ha ha. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, and, no, no, and it was great, because uh, you would go, right? There would be a life-size Han Solo and Carbonite in the, in the window, oh right? Oh, my God. You know, with like you know, I kind of lighting. wish that everything was slightly bootleg, so it's like, it's not Han yeah. Solo, it's like non-Solo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know non-solo. what? I just had like no, but a flashback, and I remember in West Ed, there was a store yeah. when I was a kid, and there was a huge Darth Vader in the window and Stormtroopers, and now I'm wondering, was that a Star Wars store? No, I mean, I don't know, but the Maybe. one the one in Sunridge I'm thinking of, right, you walk in, right, this, the the floors are, are slick black, like, uh-huh. the, like the deck of a Star Destroyer, right? Yeah. And then, like, uh, right when you walk in, there's an archway made of, like, gray foam. But, like, it's convincing. You know, you know how, yeah, like, yeah. The, the 501st sets up, like, their stages and stuff? Yeah. Sure, sure. It's like that. The whole store was like that. And you walk in the middle of the store, you look up. There's, like, a TIE fighter, like, Do you viewport. think that was owned and operated by them? No, it wasn't. The 501st? It wasn't. No, no, no. But one of the 501st guys. Like, I don't know. But, yeah. that like that, I, I, like I used to way. go into that store just to, to feel like be I was there. walking into Star <laughs> Wars. You know, right? So, like, I don't know. What, what a nerd. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. Speaking of that, can yeah. we go to the... Disney World expansion and when they open that and you get yeah. to be in the hotel and it's yeah. and you get to pretend you're in a Star Wars thing and they give you a character Can I get a ship? <laughs> yeah, dude, it looks like the rooms make it look like you're in space. Uh I'll, I'll have <laughs> to like, compromise with Sarah on I've that. I've never been to Disney. I'm this is the time Sarah. I'm going. Now. Okay, please. We're going. We're please go. because um, Sarah would go. I'd be like, "Sarah, hey, hey Sarah, Disney." And the she'd next be like, time, oh, I'm in. The next time I'm going to Disneyland is when we're going to get married in Disneyland. That's what that's the plan right now. Okay, so here's the plan. So. You get married in Disneyland 
And then wow, we'll we all go to Star Wars. And then we'll catch yeah, up. No, I'd no, be no, down with like, that. They do a day by themselves. Yeah, and yeah. Then we all will just like like do it on like a, a Thursday. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a Thursday. Fuck it. And then we'll we'll come in on the Friday. Dude, yeah, yeah. Disneyland yeah. weddings are hella expensive. Even just for like like a lunch reception, it's, you it's don't crazy. say. Yeah. Remember that so, thing I said about licensing? <laughs> I'll crush you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can't even. We're not even allowed our own cakes. They would have you guys, to be. Would wow. you guys? Yeah. Would you guys like dress up as like a Disney prince and princess? No. What di- what Sarah okay. wants, okay, is to be to get married on the grounds, uh-huh. okay, and then in her wedding dress, go into the park and have everyone kind of like you know pay attention to her, saying, "Oh my God, congratulations!" You know, and like a- as a bride and like you know making. It's like cosplay, yeah. but as a wedding. Yeah, exactly. But it's, she doesn't want a, she doesn't want a cosplay married. wedding, though. She doesn't right. want to dress up as a Disney princess. She, she just, wants her cosplay, her wedding to be the cosplay. She wants yeah. the two. She wants the it. two dreams to overlap. You know what I mean? And that, that that's what she wants. So it's like, what um, do you want, Alfred? What do I want? I want to Star- fucking, <laughs> if I can get married on the deck of a star destroyer. <laughs> fuck yes, I would. So that's your compromise. Falcon. Yeah, but she wouldn't do that. She would hate that. She, she would want. Something you know, overlooking the park under like you, you know, have e- even on the grass. Darth underneath. Vader be the ring bearer. No. no, 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 no. It's not. But no, no. He stands at the back of the aisle, like from the very back, and he levitates. He's the and there's father. like a there's a thing. There's a, like a like a fishing like some fishing line and a in <laughs> a ring, and just like levitates over. It. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's like, the da, only da, 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 the da, only da. Star Wars related <laughs> compromise we have made regarding our wedding is that uh, when I. I walk down the aisle. It's going to be the throne room theme from Episode Four. Oh my Ooh. god! And then when, we, when we walk out, it's going to be that, and then it's going to seek into the credits theme da, 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 as we're walking down the hall. You know, as <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that we have kind of all compromised on losers. so far. <laughs> it's true. I love them. I Dude, love all listen, of them. listen to the throne room theme. It's it's a perfect. I know. It's I a get perfect it. wedding I march. Get it. It's a Nerd. perfect wedding I march. Get it. <laughs> Aww. All my friends are losers. I love all my friends. <laughs> so therefore, I love losers. I'm going to come to yeah. your wedding dressed as Jar Jar Binks. Oh, no, don't. Yeah, it'll be I'm going to not Jay will be dressed as a spaceship because that's his favorite character <laughs> yeah, in like, Star Wars. <laughs> Honestly, we, we probably can't afford... As long afford, as it's not an A-Wing, I hate it. We probably can't afford to have anyone at our wedding except for our immediate families anyways. Because, uh, holy no, crap. no, no, no. Oh, uh, we're that. meeting you we're there. We're just going to oh, okay, go yeah. there. We're yeah. going yeah. to Star Wars that's fine. Alfred, that's fine. Yeah. I know it's your wedding, but it's not all about you. That's fine. You're like, yeah. Yeah, I know. No... You know just kidding. I'd, I'd, totally be, I'd totally be down with that. Just if, like, you know. Oh, fancy meeting you guys here. Yeah, exactly. Weird. Yeah. I'm a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> they kick my us is, out. Oh, my, bo- I, like I my, my body. And then my wedding My head will be uh, where, like, uh, the, the astromech droid will be. I love that you're thinking about this. Like, I'm, seriously. I'm, I'm a loser, too. Aww. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Jay would do it. Uh, Jay would do it. I like how we devolves to talking about your wedding. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We got we got people, we got life plans, man. We got yeah, to do. no, it's we'll, good. Uh, we we've been talking about this for years at this point, and she hasn't like she won't take no for an answer. So it, it's it's probably gonna happen at this point. That's yeah. awesome. And there's a lot of things that we were talking about for years, and I said would probably never happen, and uh, they happen anyways. Uh, well, we bought a house last year, yeah. so well, fuck me, right? And a so, dog. And a dog. So yeah. Honestly, it's like it's not about yeses or noes. It's really just when the time comes. Yeah, when the mm-hmm. time comes. Then that, that's why I realized with Sarah, that's that's really how it's the long game. She's in it for the long game. Oh, so People it's like playing know. Risk. Yeah, Fuck, dude. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to play Yahtzee, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's just, and you know she, she took Boy. Australia first turn. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Can we switch over to another game like Pandemic and you can have Madagascar and shut down all the ports? That's Pandemic, that's a uh, Plague Inc., isn't it? Or uh, I don't... Pen- oh, no. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Flash version. No, Pl- Pandemic's a board game, dude. Yeah. yeah. Don't get them mixed up, sorry. <sighs> They'll crush me. <laughs> Anyways. I wish we could have talked about Star Wars for a whole hour. Can we, we kind of, we kind of sort of talked about Star Wars the whole This hour. is an extra... No, we should, we should make this an extra long uh, episode, two hours. Oh, my God. Two I can do it. Any- yeah, we can do it. I don't really care if we do. No, no let's, not. <laughs> let's not. Well, I'm not the one who has to edit this, so I don't care. Yeah. Do you guys do anything in particular for New Year's? Um, I'm just curious. I stayed at home. It was too cold to go out. 
I worked, and, yeah. and then I found a party at 11.30. Uh, I went to, yeah. went to rec room, and then we kind of passed the time at home, and then we drank a whole bottle of champagne. Did you count down at, at rec room, or did you just go to No, we, we went to rec room, and then we went home and watched Nenshi count down from, from City Hall. What was that? Like, I, uh, I never watched any of the production. I just know that they canceled it because... People uh, were still people out People were still out, and because no, no, they because knew because they couldn't stop people, so, like, you know, people were still there. But and they then, were like, please don't go if you're going to freeze. Yeah, and then Nenshi was actually inside City Hall, and then he Smart counted, he, he, like... Awkwardly counted down while facing the uh, the camera, and then the, it cut to the fireworks. At, at which point, I opened some champagne. And Did it look like, good on uh, coming from the Takagi Tower? I haven't seen any footage of it. I literally didn't follow. It. I, I don't even remember because oh, no. it was kind of just underwhelming. Whatever, you know what? Welcome to Calgary. Yeah, <laughs> we're good, but we're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. I don't know. This That's this year's up. weather has been crazy too. Just like it's been cold, then a little bit warm, and then cold, and then a well, we're we're getting double digits like come Saturday, right? But like the last I mean, couple tomorrow. Di- oh, is it tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, it's Friday. Geez. Oh, geez, it is. Okay, yeah. So we're supposed to get double digits soon. We're gonna get like plus like double 10, digits. Eleven. Yeah, Jesus. like in, in, yeah, oh, and then today's like, like minus twenty five. <laughs> yeah, like the last couple of days have been minus fuck you. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> my my dog hates it. He's like. You know, the pee's actually freezing to his dick when he tries to pee. So oh my like, God. Things I really never bad. need to hear from Alfred. Why don't you house train him? <laughs> he, che- he chewed up the uh, the pee mat last time we tried Sometimes that. it doesn't have to be a pee mat. You just get like a, what do you call it? You get some newspaper and you get like a... Yeah, we like tried. A, like a, what is it? Well, the pee mat helps. You're asking a cat a mud, person. A mud. Uh, the, like, no, no, no. When you, when you walk into someone's house and then they have a little... A mat? mat like thing. a car mat with some paper. P- like yeah. you know, newspaper on it. Yeah, basically I know. a rubber mat. Yeah, but like house training is tough. I don't know. He's been getting used to the weather. You know, he's he was actually a, a street dog from Mexico, which is why he's so wow, oh really? shit adverse. He <laughs> yeah. He's like, what did I do? Yeah, he's so adverse to the weather. But he's I like, mean, I have a family now, but I had to trade it in for nice climates. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, he he's the reason I'm so vulgar this episode. I've been kind of frustrated with training my dog, but whatever. It's okay. Aww. Dog needs to be trained. Yeah, it does need to be. Sure. Yeah. You knew what you were getting into. Oh, I knew. Not your first oh, dog. Oh, I knew. I knew. Yeah. yeah. How, how, has, he, has he met your boy? Uh, You mean my parents' dog? Well, he's your boy. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, he hasn't met no, my parents' dog. No, I don't mean because your parents' dog is a little shit. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. That dog. I went over to Alfred's house one time little... and she was like, get the hell out of here. Who the hell are you? She's yeah. Jumping on me. And no, no. You, me. So you, see, you know what I mean? BB. Yeah. BB. No, like, I'm not talking about Bobby. she's met BB. But have you met? Uh, has has you he met, met Bobby? No, Bobby, yeah. no. Kingsley hasn't met Bobby yet. Oh, okay. That's no. Big Brother. No, uh, we're waiting until Kingsley is a little better with other dogs because we took him to the Pet Smart training thing, and there was a black lab there, and he hated him. Uh, so it was racist dog. You know what? <laughs> Apparently, that <laughs> is okay. Hold, hold up. This is this might be a thing. I I, I read. Oh it, no! I read an article. Oh Does my he know he's god! Black? <laughs> I read an article where. Does he know he's black? No. Though? Dogs dislike black dogs because the facial features blend in and like they can't identify it as another dog because, because they're blind. <laughs> no, because because they yeah they have poor eyesight. They have poor well, yeah. Well, dogs don't have, well they don't, have, they don't have great eyes. Well, your dog only has one. Yeah, he only has one eye. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like a perfect storm. Yeah, exactly. Aww. So funny. Yeah, I felt bad. I felt bad. Like, but does your dog know he's black too? <laughs> Does he? I don't know. My my dog probably knows he's Mexican. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe you, need start, maybe you need to train him in in, in Spanish instead. I don't even know. Like we we tried we tried some basic phrases in Spanish and he didn't he didn't react to them. So I think he's fully acclimated to the Canadian. He's like eh, whatever. Yeah, they make noises. I do a thing, and sometimes exactly. they give me a treat. Exactly. <laughs> that's how that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much all we have to talk about, other than we could walk talk about Star Wars for another hour. If we Alfred could. Wants, and, and Alfred wants to <laughs> edit that. I episode. don't want to edit that, but, like, we could talk about Star Wars for another hour, but it's just, that's just typical me and Sarah. That's what yeah. happens. Yeah. True. Um, we'll talk about Sarah, Star Wars another time. When okay. are you, how long are you saying? Sarah's, oh, Sarah I'm has moving. plans. Sarah Yay. has plans. But I'll be back for Odafest, so it's okay. Well, it's For just sure. like, but yeah, but do you know when you're moving? Yeah, beginning of February. Oh, shit. So That's like, a lot sooner than I thought. I thought you were going to say March. I don't know. I was like, I don't know when the next time. Well, next time you come onto the show, you'll be a real special guest. You're you're Aww. just a Will we talk about Han Solo? Will we oh, talk about... Oh, God, we might. <laughs> will we talk about episode nine in two years? We'll talk about episode nine in two years, yeah. 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 And then probably the whole fucking thing is all 
like at some point we're gonna have the whole trilogy that talk the whole the, 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 triple, the trio trilogy i'll mm-hmm. have caught up on rebels god it's too much your life yep. if you don't watch children's tv shows you're a real star wars fan <laughs> <laughs> seems that way nowadays yeah it's terrifying uh yeah i'm not even done clone wars yet either so that's great still avoiding that one episode i know it's gonna happen and ruin my life probably so yeah you we'll know get there one day we'll yeah. get there yeah um, okay that's fine then we have lots of stuff to be talking about in the next few days uh or next few episodes rather uh yep uh just as a quick recap because there's only there's what f- about five months to Fest now mm-hmm. holy crap Yep. Yeah, almost exactly. I gotta finish stuff. Almost mm-hmm. exactly five months though at a fest. Uh, we'll be. You decided to move. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to finish stuff, but I'm gonna move instead. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, we're gonna have an anime preview for spring. Okay. We'll talk about. Sure. Some, we'll talk about some more gaming shit. And uh, lots, of, lots of stuff right now. Mm. Yeah, we got Comic Expo coming up in April. Oh yeah, something I kind of want to talk about that wasn't like super nerd related, but it's sort of it. Can we wrap up quickly though? Yeah. So okay, yeah. So this year, like in the lunar horoscope, it's the year of the dog. Year of the dog. Alfred's a horse. I'm a horse. I'm yeah. a horse. Uh-huh. I'm a dog. You're a dog. Dogs get along with horses. That's Do they a, really? That's a thing that they that's say. That's a thing. Yep. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ti- I didn't also know that. tigers. And it's an interesting thing because like, um, like I'm turning 28 this year. Alfred's turning 28. You're turning 24. Mm-hmm. Um, tigers are ahead of us. Like they're ahead for, by four years. I don't know anyone who's a tiger, which is kind of weird. Um, but I think overall, it's really interesting that. Odafest has a bunch of horses and dogs, hmm. and they all work well together. Cool. What is Sarah? What's your Sarah? I don't even know. She's not. I'm, uh, kind, of she, terrib- I'm kind of a terrible Asian person because I don't know. <laughs> no, yeah. it's okay. I'll, like I'm not super into it, but I looked into it like once and I thought it was cool. Like it was just that. Like I feel like if you want to put it in a metaphor, like the horses pull the cart. Because hmm. we have Bayfar, who's a horse. Mm-hmm. We have he's only a horse by a little bit, but he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. We have uh, uh, just like almost everyone in May Cafe is, and some of the other uh, kids are like. If you're again, if you're four years younger than me, then you're a dog, and we work well together. Mm. We have a lot of people who work well together. That's but there's cool. like, but there's one, there's like one kind or one animal that we're missing that I've figured out. Well, with the such a diverse ones. crew of people, it's not surprising that we're going to get all sorts, right? So sure, but, but we have like no, but we have like a hundred, we have like a hundred okay. staff members, and we're missing one animal out of twelve. Uh, statistics, man, whatever. Astrology. Let's not get. It's like that other. Let's thing, not like, talk about astrology. Please. In a room, I, no, no, no. In a room, in a room of thirty people, what is it like that you have a high chance of sharing a birthday? Two people having the same birthday, which is yeah, yeah. also strange. Huh. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Anyway, I like coincidences. That's all. Cool. Thanks for listening. <laughs> uh Alfred. Yeah. Uh, Do you have anything to say? No. Why not? I'm signing off. Thank you for having me on the <laughs> podcast again, you guys. Fantastic. Talk about Star Wars. And I got to bring up Obi-Wan Kenobi again. Obi. Yeah, that's always my goal. I got to uh, talk about yep. spaceships. And we talked about <laughs> spaceships. spaceships. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.